Okay, guys, welcome to Project Ward, which we just stand in hideout and get a bunch of wards, and, and that's it. Wow. Unfortunately, ward doesn't have a cool, like, effect, so it's just it's, this, this is just gonna look like this, except this number is gonna be higher. That's, that's literally it. I know, very uh, disappointing. Unfortunately, if you get more, the thing doesn't get thicker like ES, so unlucky. Anyway, hopefully they'll work more on this and then it'll look cooler. We have three characters for this. The ward character, which is me, level 100 Scion. A strength support, you've seen this a million times before. It's a Mask of the Tribunal based um, strength support character with 6,500 strength. For the nearby allies have 6% increased defenses per 100 strength you have. This one works for ward, global defenses. We are scaling our ward by this helm, Fate Guard, increases and reductions to maximum energy shield if applied to ward uh, instead. So flat ES is not good for us, but percent maximum ES, the non-local, the, the global rolls are good. So that means int and max ES on items and tree. So stuff like, you know, 6% ES nodes. And the third character is gonna be just generating power charges for us because we have two precursors emblems with increased energy shield per power charge. So we're gonna have a bunch of power charges and then, uh, so we don't have two item swap for power charge generation. We have Bazooka Tank here with Conduit. This node sharing his power charges to us. We also have a power charge corruption on this helmet for this reason and a bunch of extra power charges on the tree. The gear took around a week to craft for more than three people. It's been me, Marcus, and Bazooka Tank, three of us working on this. Marcus is gonna be the strength support. He was the brains behind all the POB stuff. Um, and Bazooka Tank helped an insane amount with crafting and with uh, purchasing stuff so we can craft. There's other people, we outsourced a bunch of crafting to Discord, TFT and my Discord. We, add, we told people what we need. People started crafting some bases, we bought them, we finished them, we bricked them, and so on. We had to buy uh, these Emperor's Mastery, these rare lab jewels, we had to buy a lot of voices. I don't know how much currency we spent on all of this, I think it's probably over 10 mirrors as well. We have three one passive voices, and the rest is three passive voices. Uh, some of the items took hundreds and hundreds of exhaust to craft. We mirrored two jewels that are perfect and insanely hard to craft, so we have four of the best jewels. There is a way to get even more than this if you do Pathfinder, but I didn't want to level a level 100 Pathfinder to be better than a level 100 Scion. I think maybe even 97 Pathfinder would be better, um, but Scion has better pathing and I had a 99 Scion ready, so I just had to finish the 100. Pathfinder can have more flask effect and since we're not using the All Wrath Resolve, uh, Pathfinder would be worse if you wanted to use this flask because the Flask effect also scales the less ward, so you're gonna get even less ward. We're just gonna put on regular iron flasks for ward. It's max effect. So let me just go over quickly the gear. The strength support is just a strength support. You've seen this before. We've had a 7,000 strength strength support in the past. This is just a 6,500 one. We didn't min max that that much um, because uh, there were bigger upgrades to get for that same amount of money. The flask character is just the flask character, and um, the main gear is this. We have a faith guard with one of max int, max ward. Um, could be improved by somehow chancing it with 30 quality or hillock 30 quality in it before double corrupting for even more, more uh, flat ward. Um, max power charges is necessary. Better would be max power charge and ES double corruption. Amulet, this is an int stacking amulet, best that can be, don't think this could be improved. Actually, it could have higher percent max ES if you finish the craft. If it wasn't a crafted one, I think the regular mod goes up to 22%. So this is max int, max attribute, max percent int, and then crafted ES. The chest, I have talked about the crafting method of this chest before. This chest was made by Vendoring a full inventory of I-78 or higher breach rings. 78 to block some of the mods that can be rolled with the Crusader Slam in the very last step. 
Uh, this is the only way to get 100% increased global defenses on a chest. Which you can't craft, so if you like try alt spamming or whatever, if you roll over, the mod is gone forever and you have no way to get it back. You then have to isolate this mod by turning it into a blue item. So you have to make it so that all the prefixes are full. You wipe the suffixes, then you have to annul so that it has two mods. You have to hit the annul so that it still keeps the increased global defenses. And then you B split it, and then one of the items, one of the chests will be a blue grasping male with nothing but increased global defenses. Then you have your base, then you can work with it. Then you imprint that, so you, you know, checkpoint. Then you og. You og until you hit a decent intro. We stopped at T4. Um, it ca cannot roll T1, so it can be 2, 3, or 4. Uh, we stopped at T4. Then you imprint again. Then you regal. If you hit a trash prefix, you craft another prefix to fill up the prefixes, and then you have to Crusader Exalt Slam, T1% Int. The item level here comes in play, you're blocking some of the other mods, so it's actually not that unlikely to hit that. If it doesn't work, you have to go back to the imprint regal step, um, and go from there. And then, once you hit the T1 Int, then you um, heal a craft percent attributes, and... Uh, enchanted with tailoring orbs, which we were pretty lucky with. You could also harvest enchant, which is pretty close to this one. And that's how you make this chest. <laughs> For no reason other than to have a little bit more ward in hideout. Very deterministic. I don't want to take any credit for any crafting methodology in any of this project. I am way too stupid for this. I can follow steps, but Marcus is the brains behind uh, a lot of this, and he is... Uh, Helping us out with the with the theory of the stuff, you know, POB stuff, crafting methodology, and uh, we're just uh, monkeys pressing buttons, honestly. But uh, yeah, I don't understand anything. Okay, I'll I'll tell you an easier one. This is what we're working on right now. We are trying to get this jewel to have attributes also, which is a suffix. So what we do is we create an imprint of it, which is a beast craft, that basically counts as a checkpoint. So if we do imprint, this is a 2x thing. This beast is now 2x because we've bought hundreds for 1.2x and 1.5x. Now they're 2x. So every time we do this step, it's 2x. Two exalted orbs. Bye. It's gone. Okay. Now we have an imprint. This item can restore this jewel to this state. So now whatever we do with it, we can always return to this state. You can only do this with blue items, because otherwise it would be really easy to craft anything, right? Because you can always like have a checkpoint. These were used to be called eternal orbs, and you could use it on rares. Um, you can't corrupt it, true. You can't use this on a corrupted item, sorry. Okay, so now we're trying to regal increased attributes. So that's a suffix. So if we regal a prefix, we can uh, slam it. I did it. Oh my god, T1. Oh my god, we did it. It's over. Okay, we don't have to do this anymore. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so I was gonna say that, you know, if it's something else, we can still annul and try go again and then just imprint, but... Okay. Oh my god. Apparently there was a 0.33% chance of this happening. So if we did this, like... 300 times, we would have eventually, on average, 62%, right? Would have done something like this. These jewels are incredibly hard to craft. We spent hundreds and hundreds of exalts on beasts and uh, oging and regaling, and um, they're just really hard to make. And we've managed to make two of them. I made one, Bazooka Tank made one, and then we have stuff with a little less attributes, It's done. <laughs> we have four perfect jewels. The belt we crafted yesterday, it's a flask effect belt with int percent attribute percent ES and flask charge or flask effect. We have two precursors, one 9% per power charge, one 6% per power charge. We have two ephemeral edges, emperor's masteries. Boots and gloves are ward stuff. So 458 flat ward, 
third equality, triple T1 ward stuff, perfectly divined, minus one on the percent, and then crafted int. Gloves, I bricked today. Uh, I divined it to be even better, but during the process of divining, I messed up the crafting mods, so we're missing five int on this one. So we're missing 1% ES because I bricked these. But <laughs> we spent like six hours trying to get triple T1, and we only hit it. We never hit it, actually. We never hit it. I hit uh, double T1, 1T2 multiple times. I think someone else hit this and I bought it off him. He said he hit it in five fossils. Jewels, yeah, just 35 effect, max int and attributes. These are the best ones. These are pretty much the same, but a little bit less all attributes. And uh, that's it. Belt, chest, weapons. We have 7,000 ward already. That's what I like to see. Now the amulet. 8k. Voices go in. We currently have the three. So we'll just do three one passive voices then. 9.5, 9.69, and 10k. All right, we got 10k ward. Let's go. 11.9. Here we go. Medium. Spiked concoction. Alchemist Genius during Flask. And finally, 35-3. Yep, this one. I have two skill points left. 12.9k without Flask. Twenty point five k with flask. All right, let's turn on the strength support first. Wait, two points, sure. Okay, sixteen point eight with strength support, no flask. Orabo doesn't do anything. Seventeen point six with power charges, and strength support. Oh, wait. The flask isn't divined. Hang on. Okay, here we go. This is it. Uh, we need charges. And then that's it. Let's go. 27.767. Okay, that's it. 27,767 ward. <laughs> okay, we did it. GG news. Um, what now? That's it. That was literally it, guys. It's over. Uh, we can put on the other flask and try to tank some boss abilities, but we need an aura bot for that, so indeed you're gonna have to come with us. <laughs> Minus 10 mirrors. <laughs> we did it, guys. <laughs> Let's try to tank something. Open like Elder or Shaper or something. Let's go. <laughs> okay, guys, this doesn't work. Okay, we need to unspec all the flask nodes. We're, we're scanning too much flask effect. We'll unanoint our amulet and take out this stupid jewel. Okay, 19k ward, no problem. Oh, I lost 200 ES. I'm just dying. <laughs> Guys, help. <laughs> I, did you see I lost ES with while having ward? <laughs> this, this mechanic is so trash. <laughs> One damage will deplete your ward. That's why we use the flask. It shouldn't happen with this flask up, but this flask is up for like three seconds. So. No, it doesn't work against dots. Nope. Fuck you. We had oh, almost made it to the boss, dude. We were so close. All right. Let's, uh, I hope you have determination on. Do you have determination? We do. So we actually have armor. 3,000? That's nothing. Uh, okay, well, whatever. Let's go. So we're gonna let him tunnel. We're gonna pull. Let him tunnel up. And then I'm gonna stand in a slam. It's 39k. <laughs> okay, we can't take it. There's no way. Alright. GG noobs. Let's go. Let him tunnel and then he'll slam. He's tunneling. I'm gonna press. I'm just waiting for his slam. He's tunneling again. Just need a slam. Slam, please. No, stop tunneling. Slam. 
Why isn't he slam? Do you have to lower him to slam? Hmm. I'll try to tank a melee hit. I pressed flask. I tanked it, or maybe. Okay, I'll try again. Does that count? Okay, I have one more flask. I'll try to tank a tunnel. I pressed it. I tanked the tunnel! Yes! And that's without power charges. We did it! <laughs> he didn't slam, though. I don't think he slams until you lower him like to 75% or some shit. He's not... He's not a tunneling. Or he's not a slamming. We tanked the melee hit and we tanked the tunnel. Yeah, let's lower him a bit. Oh, he just slammed. The problem with the slam is he's gonna rain rocks. Um, I need flasks again. Do we have more portals? I use my three flasks. Okay, I'll try to tank a slam. Uh, if he's tunneling to me, I can't see it. Uh, I don't think I can even run through this one. I'm gonna die. Can you kite him up? Yeah, you're gonna need to kill the adds as well. Okay, if he does a slam- Oh! Yes! I tanked the slam. I pressed it. Okay, we tanked all of his attacks. We tanked a slam, a tunnel, and a melee hit. GG noobs. The build works.